after seven bridge is notorious for its potentially catastrophic crossing. Mm. After Ripley's night like this, uh, this open, uh, the wind speed is ten times stronger than what it is yeah. when you're on like this sort of road now. Hold on with all fans, please do what I'm going to do. Get your down. With the bridge towering a staggering 430 feet above the deadly currents of the Seven Estuary, every driver breathes a sigh of relief when they make it to the other side. That's it now, we're almost across the water now, we're back in England now. And Mark's in an optimistic mood. If you look in the distance, you can just see the sun coming out a little bit. Matt Dixon brings the sunshine. Wherever I go, the sun is shining. We have got clear blue skies. I might have to put my sunglasses on. Yeah, man. <laughs> Trucking long distances can get monotonous. But when you're Mark Dixon, you can even find entertainment on 90 miles of dual carriageway. Hey. Exciting journeys flown by, and he arrives at Red Booth on time. All he has to do is pull off a tricky blindside reverse off the main road onto the loading bay with his fully laden 44 ton Alcopop Arctic.